Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, you may have noticed that the last video I shot was filmed in April. Um, that is because I've been stupidly busy, had a lot of life updates. Um, but I'm out here on the water. I've actually been fishing like a hundred times since the last time I filmed. I went to the coast for a whole week, um, but I didn't bring my camera with me. And uh, so today I just figured, you know, let me go get out in the water, see if I can't catch a couple bass or something, uh, make a video about it. So we're out here on the San Marcos River and uh, I'm gonna see if I can't pull up a couple largemouth bass um, right before sunset. So it's about seven o'clock right now. So we have an hour and a half before the sun goes down. Um, that should give us ample opportunity to catch fish. Oh man, look at that duck. It blends right in with the water. But let's get to it, see if we can't catch any fish. Okay, so we pulled up to our first little spot here. We're about a mile up river from where we launched. And we're going to be throwing this little guy. Throwing that right there. That's a uh, Strike King Rage Tail. <clears throat> I found that on these uh, spring fed rivers, especially the San Marcos, that this is just a really good bait. Uh, it catches a lot of fish out here. So I really struggled fishing these rivers until I started uh, throwing this bait and started catching more fish. Oh, that was a hit. Dang, I'm trash. Just missed that fish. There he is. I knew I was going to catch something off that log. There was no way that I didn't. It was just too juicy. Just caught this guy off a little rage tail. Um, he was hiding over on that log over there. So. We got us one, and we're gonna let him go. Thanks for playing. Okay, I actually ended up having to retie because that fish did a number on my uh, on my hook. It was all bent, so I cut it off, tied on another one, and uh, threw on another rage tail. So we're we're back fishing again. Once the sun goes down a little bit more, it's already starting to go go down pretty quick, but we're gonna bust that frog out and see if we can't catch any topwater fish. But for now, let's we'll see if we can't pull any more off these elephant tails. These elephant tails hold a lot of fish for some reason. I'm not sure if it's cooler water around them or more oxygenated water, but I always catch more fish around the elephant tails. And in the fall time, that's the only thing I fish is around these elephant tails and I'll just catch bass all day long. Forgot to separate the tail there. I like for the tail to be separated so it gets a little more a little more movement, especially for these summertime bass. Alright, we're gonna jet out of here and get down uh work down to another spot that I want to fish before it gets uh, too dark so we'll see you at the next spot one little pit stop along the way i'm gonna give this about five or six casts Keep it moving. We have arrived. We have arrived at the final spot here. At least the final spot for this 
Rage tail. I'm a little out of breath because I was friggin' sprinting over here. Horrible cast to start off. Love that. Dang. I don't know if you can see that wake, but that's for me. That is for my powerful legs. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, this is the juicier one here, here. Forgot. Totally forgot. There he is. What is that? Ain't no way, buddy. Ain't no way. Is that a rock bass? This one. Okay. That's a rock bass. For a second, I thought that was a bluegill, and I was about to... I was about to be dumbfounded because that's a big old sunfish if it was but caught me a little uh warm out there or a rock bass i'm not sure what the official name is for it uh, if you do know go ahead and leave it down in the comments for a second i thought it was like a bluegill and i thought it was the biggest bluegill in the world but uh it was not so we'll go ahead and let this guy go adios friend he took a little slow takeoff there, but caught him over there on that little, uh, I don't know what that is. It's just where cattle come in to drink out of the river. But uh, once again, elephant ears and then shallow water. I don't know what it is, but they just tend to hang out in those spots on the San Marcos River. Let's keep fishing. Okay, so I told you that was the juicier of the two little troughs. But I kind of hoping to catch a bass. Sometimes big bass hang out on these things. Okie doke. Roll over to these over here. And I think the way we're going to do it is we're going to go down to the very end right over here. And we're going to get a little turn. And we're just going to cast over to these elephant ears and work our way up to the very end of that row there. And that'll be it for the, for the ridge tail. Then we'll get up to the frog because it'll be dark by then. Dang it, I just had something there. I don't know what that was. It felt kind of like a bluegill. Could have been one of those rock bass though. Oh, he got one of my, he got my tail. Thing ate my tail off there. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that out real quick. All right, new baits on. Get it back in the water. It's getting fishy. I'd be surprised if I didn't catch one soon. It's pretty fishy back in there. That's because it is fishy. Let's go. Let's go. That's a tiny little bass, but you know what? I'll take it. 
better than no bass. Picked up another bass right there, once again, on those elephant ears. Also a, a little stump, it's more structure, so that's, I guess, part of the pattern. But awesome, we're gonna get this guy back in the water. There he goes. See if we can't pull out yet one more. I told y'all that looked fishy, but does it have two fish on it? Possibly. Those little bass, man, there's a dime a dozen. And uh, they just, they barely tap the lure. And then, you know, you, you don't even know if you have one on. You're like, is that a fish? Am I bumping up against a stump? And then the bigger ones are even weirder because they'll just bite it and they won't move. They'll just sit there. So you're, you think you're hung up. And a lot of the time they'll bite onto it and then let go. It's kind of a weird... Weird bite I hear on the San Marcos River. All right, let's jump down to another spot here. We're back into some cleaner water here. I'm hoping that helps us, even though we caught two of our fish in dirty water. Looks like we lost that, which means it's time to go to the topwater frog which is kind of what I wanted to do anyway. I do think a fish took me into that, but who knows? Not me. Okay, I got the topwater frog on. I just lost my um, rage tail. Oh, and right into the bushes for the first cast. Yeah, lost my rage tail, unfortunately. It's okay, because I got about a hundred of them hundred more where that came from. This is kind of exciting because I haven't worked a frog in uh, honestly probably a year. No, nah, that's not true. Since last fall, which is almost a year, but I just have been doing a lot of catfishing and I haven't really been bass fishing. Actually, this is probably the first time I've been bass fishing in a minute. Man, walking a frog is just exciting because you just don't know if something's gonna blow up on it or or what there he is I knew he was going to come. Sooner or later, it's a nice one, too. Let's be easy. Let's be easy. It's not the biggest one in the world, but she ain't small either. It's the best one of the day. That's a pretty good one. All right, we were throwing that topwater frog and we snagged a two pounder. Got him right over there, uh, once again off the elephant ears, but nice subtle take, it wasn't anything crazy. Um, there's the frog we were using. Not a very big one, um, kind of a subtle approach, but he ate it hard. So let's go ahead and let this guy go. Let's see if he'll jump out of here. There we go. See you later, dude. I think we might have time to try to catch one more. So I'm going to make a couple more casts and see what happens. It's really getting dark now. We just caught that last fish. So I'm kind of just making a last ditch effort to see if we can't catch one more. Oh, my Lord. Oh, goodness. I know one more little spot up here that I'll try. And then we're going to have to go. I 
can't see no more. Can't see my casts. So I think we're gonna call it. All right, we're calling it. We lost our battle to that uh, to that fifth fish, unfortunately. But I will see you guys back at the truck. Okay, so we're back at the house. Um, it's actually a week later because I got lazy and didn't want to film <laughs> the night I got back from fishing. But uh, we ended up catching four fish in total, uh, which is pretty good for an hour and a half. Um, I want to keep fishing the San Marcos River and see if I can't get on any bigger fish. Um, so expect some more videos on that in the future. Um, hopefully I'll have some more content out. I'm hoping to push out two videos a month if I can. One uh, every week was getting kind of getting kind of hard. So we're going to change up the schedule there. But I really appreciate everybody joining in and I'll see you guys in the next one.